As the hunting season approaches, we all begin sorting through our gear. One item that all big game rifle hunters have to have is 400 square inches of hunter's orange. Hunters view hunter orange the same thing as bringing a knife or a rifle when they go hunting. It's sort of part of the outfit. People mistaken a hunter for game is one of the dominant causes of hunting accidents. And so if hunters are required to wear hunter orange and are visible, those rates of hunting accidents declined. Beginning in 1936, Montana required hunters to wear an article of red clothing. But due to an increase in hunting accidents attributed to the low visibility of red, Montana moved to the current hunter orange requirements in the early 1970s. During this transition, people questioned the validity of game's optical awareness towards hunter's orange. Humans have a three-color vision, which allows us to see various wavelengths in the light spectrum. Ungulates have a two-color vision. This enables sensitivity towards shorter wavelengths. Therefore, out in the wild, a human's perception of hunter's orange is more distinguishable than big game. Wearing hunter orange is really a very small price to play. The 229,000 license holders that spend some time in Montana, if five, six dollars is all that they have to spend in order to stay safe, then I really think it's a small price to pay. Recent studies have found other fluorescent colors, such as pink, to have a higher visibility than hunter's orange. But who's going to wear it? Winston Greeley, out among Montana's fish, wildlife, and parks.